Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll start with a new topic, threads. Before we begin the discussion with threads, we'll just revise what we studied in chapter 4, that is process. So process is a program in execution. Whenever a process is created or process is allocated certain resources by the operating system. The resources like memory space, CPU, the number of files used by the process. So for each process, the operating system has to allocate these resources and every process uses these resources and releases the resources on the process termination. Now these increases the responsibility of the operating system to provide all these resources to a process. In turn, the operating system is burdened to manage this process and to schedule the process. So if there are many processes created in the in the system, a point will come where the operating system will not be able to allocate these resources to any process. and in turn the system will get hung. So in order to solve this problem the concept of threads was implemented. Thread is basically a lightweight process. So as a single process is executing for a single task a thread may be the part of a process and it may execute a part of a process. Hence it becomes a lightweight process. So a single process may have such many threads that will take care of one part of execution of that whole process. So every thread that gets created or that is generated in a process also has a thread ID, a program counter, a register set and a stack. As processes have process ID, CPU registers, memory locations. Similarly, the thread also is associated or thread comprises of thread ID, a program counter, a register set and the stack. Every thread is distinguished by the thread ID. Now, a thread is called as a lightweight process as it is also involved in executing some part of a process. So in turn they share the resources of a process. So a process may have one or multiple thread. So there are different processes using these threads. So there may be processes with single thread and there may be processes with multiple thread. So in this diagram We'll see how the single thread and multi-threaded process execute. Now if you see on the left side the single threaded process, so every process is associated with registers, stacks and every process also has a code, data and file. This process contains a single thread that is into executing only one or it is doing only one work for a process. Whereas in multiple threaded process, you will see multiple threads associated with various registers and stack. So every thread will have its own registers and stack that will store the information or store the work done by this particular thread in the registers and the stack. Now as this is a multi-threaded process, all the processes are sharing the same parameters like code, data and files. So these threads execute in the same resources that is being allotted to a process. So hence multi-threaded process or, or a thread is said to be a lightweight process as it doesn't require any additional resources to execute. So it uses the resources that is provided by the process for execution. So we take an example here. If a web server is requesting only one user at a time, then it may create a problem. So the other user has to wait. So if a web server is a thing single threaded process, so a web server will handle only one request at a time and all other users will have to wait till this one request is completed. Whereas in multi-threaded web server, so every thread will be assigned to a user and a user will be able to access the required information from the web server. Similarly, or the word processor will have a thread to accept the data from the user and simultaneously it will execute a thread to find out the errors, spelling mistakes that are being typed by the user. Whereas another thread may be used to load some information from some other file that is required in the word processor. So this is how the single threaded and multi process, multi threaded process differ. So these threads come with some advantages or the benefits responsiveness so as these threads execute simultaneously for any single process so it increases the responsiveness of a process so many many threads doing the same job or many thread doing multiple job will increase the response of a of a process 
in an interactive application may allow the program to continue running even if a part of it is blocked or is performing some lengthy operation hence it increases the response units so a process or application that is blocked due to some reason or is executing some lengthy operation still the application will respond because of multi threaded programming resource sharing so as threads are the part of the same process they share the memory and the resources of the process to which they belong so a thread belongs to a specific process that is executing some instruction so these allows the benefit of code sharing for an for an application so different threads may execute different activities for an application in the same address space third benefit is the economy so as every thread executes in the process to which it belongs the process doesn't have to be allocated or the the threads doesn't have to allocate new memory space or the resources so this reduces the resource utilization of the operating system and also there is no need of context switching between the processes as every thread is the part of a process and doing and executing certain part of the uh, process so the context switching of the process is reduced and that in turn reduces the resource requirement of any operating system and hence uh, it removes the overhead for creating and maintaining a process rather than a thread utilization of multi processor architectures using multi threading we can utilize the full power of multi processor architectures where every thread can be assigned to a processor for some job so multiple processors in the multi processor systems will execute one single job that may be the part of a big process so this increases the speed of execution or speed of executing the processes highly by running parallel instructions on different processor a single threaded process will run only on the one processor even if there are many processors available for execution whereas multi threaded multi threaded processes will utilize all the processors that are available in the system so these are the benefits of or multi threaded programming there are two types of threads that are created in the system the user thread and the kernel thread user threads are the threads that are managed by the thread library that is associated with the operating system so a thread library takes care of creation and deletion of the thread so this thread library provides the function like thread creation so whenever a process needs to do something additional a thread is created and if there are multiple threads utilizing the same resources of the processes then the threads has to be scheduled the entire scheduling and management of the threads is done by the user thread the thread library the user threads are faster to create and manage so as the user threads execute are are handled by the thread libraries the threads can be created faster and can be managed easily these are few examples of user thread libraries so posix operating system has p threads mac c threads and solaris 2 has the ui threads So these are few examples of user thread libraries that are used in various operating systems. The next type of thread we will be talking is the kernel threads. The kernel threads are supported directly by the operating system. So the operating system is responsible to manage the kernel threads that are required within the system. So the kernel may be handling one part of the operating system, maybe the process management or the memory management. So the the uh, the operating system has many responsibilities so the kernel has to manage this using kernel threads so the kernel threads are managed in the kernel space of the system so the kernel space is used for creating and managing the threads kernel threads are slower to create and manage than the user threads so the kernel thread has to support lot of operations or the kernel has to support lot of operations in the operating system hence creating a thread is a crucial operation in the operating system and it is slower to create and manage the kernel threads than the user threads these are the examples of the operating system where the kernel threads are implemented so windows nt windows 2000 server solaris 2 BEOS True 64 Unix so these are few of the examples that are implemented or that implement kernel thread i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching the video see you in the next lecture